and in this tutorial we're going to be making a halo jump and we're going to be utilizing add action which we're going to assign to this pole then we're going to figure out how to use get position and set position to move ourselves over towards this block this block just pretend it's a city and it will be placed by using a marker and then we're going to be spawning I don't know 600 meters in the air something like that so first step being just go ahead and place down your pole or whatever object you're going to use for this and just place down your marker wherever you would like so if we already have our pole we're going to place it on our marker right beside this block which is just used for reference so we go down over here to markers go down to your system make the drop down box and click empty and drag it down now let's just name it halo marker and we're ready to go ahead and go into our init.sqf so in here we're going to be making an add action on that flagpole so where you see here where it's the object that's going to be our object name which in this case it is the flagpole so we're going to name it pole action Keep in mind that can be named whatever you'd like. So pull action for our object. Then it says add action. Then it has opening square brackets. And then closing square brackets. And then a semicolon. As you can see here, opening, closing bracket, and a closing. And you always end a statement with your semicolon. Now inside of it, it has multiple different options, such as title. Now the title is going to be what you see when you scroll wheel on the flagpole. So we're going to name it Halo, or click to Halo, Halo Jump. And this is going to be a string. And a way you can tell what it's going to be is through all these options here. So you'll see where it says title, it's a type string. Script, they can be just string or code, which I will give an example on and arguments, anything which you can just use open and closing square brackets to bypass it if you do not want to pass anything. Priority, meaning how high up if there's a list of add actions, is it going to appear near the top or is it going to be near the bottom? If you want it to be towards the top, you would give it a 6. If you want to be towards the bottom, set it to 0, which I believe is default. Oh, never mind. Default's 1.5. Now we have show window as you can see the description here which we are going to be setting to false hide on use which we are going to be setting to true shortcut which pretty much we're just going to be ignoring and condition we're going to be using this as well and then you can see the rest of them like radius for example the 3d distance from that object in meters that the unit activating the action must be one to actually activate it so they can see the action and click on it but if they're more than let's say five meters away if we set that to our radius condition it will not actually activate the add action so we're going to go ahead and start here with we already have the title right here click the halo jump then we have the script now all these are going to be separated by a comma so we have our title comma then go ahead and just make it a little bit neater since we're going to be putting a fair amount of stuff in this go ahead and press enter put a opening curly brace, press enter a couple more times, and a closing curly brace. Now, in order to get to our marker that is over here towards this box, we are going to be needing to get the marker's position, in which we have get marker position right here. And the syntax for this is get marker position, marker name. So we can have just make a new little local variable. And this variable here, because it is local to this script, just think of it, it cannot really come out of here. So if you were to try to access it from out here, you would get an undefined variable error because, well, it's not accessible. So position equals get marker POS marker name. And we named our marker halo marker halo marker 
and because it is a marker, it is a string. So always make sure to put it in your quotes. Now we need to set the position of our player on the marker itself. So here we would be using set position. You can see this is object, us being the player, set position, then the position you want to move that object to. So player, set POS, then the position being POS. So now if we go to test, just do a quick little test in the game. Click here to halo jump. We just got teleported over towards our box. Alright, now we have that. We're going to be using Bohemia's little function here, their halo jump. So we have the unit that's going to be getting sent into the air and the altitude that they want to be at. So just like everything, you follow it just in the box, well in the square brackets. So we have player being the unit, comma, then the altitude we want it to be at. So we're going to do, let's say, 300 then we're going to have to follow this along exactly. So we're going to call that function. So call bis underscore fnc underscore halo. Then end it with a semicolon. So now when we go into this, click on the flagpole, get our halo jump, get our 300 meters, and you even get a parachute even though you don't have one on your back. And to go on along with the rest of the add action conditions that you saw, you can see how far I am away from this pole, for example. It just keeps going back and back, and I'm still. A way to get around this is we have to go to the condition. Now it says here the script of code that must return true for the action to be shown. Special variables passed to the script code are target, and target is the object which the action is assigned to, being our flagpole, and this, this being the player. So in order to get to it, we have to just go ahead and get through the rest of these, so arguments, priority, show window, and so on. We would do that after our curly brace, since our curly brace is what holds our script. So. The next one on is arguments. Number four, just do a comma, opening, closing square bracket, because we don't need to pass any arguments. Priority for this, we're going to go ahead and make six. So we want that to appear at the top of the list in case anything else is going on for the player. Then show window, it says it's a type Boolean. And this is, if it's set to true, you will see it at the mid lower of the screen as they approach the object. For now, I personally do not like that, so we're going to set it to false, so it will not do that. Then hide on use, which is also a boolean, we want it to do. And as it says, it hides it when you use it. So set this to true. Then our shortcut is just a string, so we would do opening and closing parentheses, I mean um, quotations. Now here's where we get to our condition, which has our special variables, being target and this. And target, remember, that is the, uh, the object that it's assigned to, and it's in a string. So we're just going to put opening and closing string and type what we need inside it. So we're going to have target distance this. Now we have the distance command. which what it does is it gets the difference, the distance between two objects. So player distance the object. However far that player is from the object, it's going to store it in meters. So we have target distance this, and we want it to be less than five meters. So if the target us, I mean, um, if this us is closer to, is within five meters of the target, we are going to be able to see that add action. So as you remember before, we were very far away from it, and we would be seeing it right now. But now we have to be within 
a fairly decent radius within about 5 meters to be able to activate the action. So that's a decent little introduction to how to use add action and the various little features that it supports. The understanding of what distance does, use of, oh well, we didn't use the select command, and calling Bohemia's halo jump function. And that'll be all for this one. So, see ya.